In this video, we will talk about abstract classes and abstract methods in C Sharp. Now, an abstract class is a class that is solely meant to be inherited from, and it is not meant to be instantiated from. What that means is you can't build objects from an abstract class. You can think of an abstract class as a template that we can use to then derive a set of commonly derived classes from. Abstract classes can contain abstract methods. An abstract method defines the header for a method, but does, you do not implement the body of an abstract method. Abstract methods must be implemented in any derived classes. So if you think of an abstract class as a template, an abstract method is the template for a method that needs to be implemented in any derived classes. Finally, when you are ready to implement when you derive a class from an abstract class, you have to implement all of the abstract methods that were defined in the abstract class. Basically, if you're using a template to start your class from, you have to implement all the pieces of the template to make your derived class complete. When you implement an abstract method, you use the override keyword. So let's look at an, an example here. So I have a program class with nothing in it and I've created a thing class. I've added a thing class to my project. And let's think of a thing as something generic. And I'm going to give my thing a name property. So we'll say public string name. We'll do an auto implemented property here. And that's it. So I have a thing, that thing has a name. And if I go to my program class, I can say thing t is equal to new thing. I can create my thing object and I see that my thing object has a name property. All right, so I can create an object from my thing class. Now let's imagine that we want this to create a thing class to derive a bunch of actual things like a ball or a car or, or things. And that the thing itself is just generic. It's a generic starting point. I wanna be able to pass this name property down to a common set of derived classes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this thing class abstract by adding the keyword abstract in front of the class uh, definition. So an abstract class thing. When I go back to my program, I have a, a problem here. I can't create an object from it anymore. So once you have an abstract class, you can no longer build objects from that class. Okay. But we can, we can inherit from it. So let's add another class to our project. And let's make an actual thing. We're going to make a ball. So I have a ball class. And that ball class will inherit from my thing class. Okay, Thing is abstract. It's giving us a starting point. And now in my main, I can say ball b is equal to a new ball. I can build a ball object. And that ball has inherited the name property. So the thing was our starting point. All right. So let's look at an abstract method. Because my class is abstract, I can now create an abstract method. An abstract method is just the method header. It's just a shell or a template for a method. So I'm going to say all things should have a method that is called about me. And maybe this method will print to the console something about the class. Now I'm putting a semicolon at the end of my method header. And, oh, and I have to add the keyword abstract. Okay, by adding the keyword abstract in this method header, I am saying that the about me method returns void, takes no input parameters. This is a method that all things should have. But I'm not implementing it in my abstract method because my abstract method is just a template. Okay, I'm never going to make a thing, so I don't need to worry about implementing this method. All right, when I go back to my ball class, I see an error here, a little red squiggle over my class name. And the error says, my ball class has not implemented the inherited abstract member thing.aboutme. So when you are inheriting from an abstract method, if that, or an abstract class, I'm sorry, if the abstract class has abstract methods, it is our responsibility 
after we do the inheritance to implement the abstract methods. So let's do that. So in my, my ball class, I'm going to say public override. The override keyword is needed to show that I've in, I'm taking an inherited method and I'm changing its implementation for my class. The about me returns void. Its name is about me. And Visual Studio threw some kind of code in there that, that says, hey, this isn't implemented yet, but we're going to implement it. So I'm printing something to the console. I will say console.writeline. I am a bouncy ball. So I have now implemented the abstract method. I have no more errors, and my, my inheritance is now complete. So when I go to my program, I should be able to call the about me method when we run the program. So in summary, an abstract method is or an abstract class is just a template for a class. You can no longer build objects from an abstract class, but you can inherit from it. Abstract methods can only exist inside an abstract class, and an abstract method must be implemented in all derived classes.